What a view! Beautiful view. Last time on Races to Places, the boys took a riverboat cruise down the Zambezi. Riverboat journey complete, the next place we're heading for is Harare, which is the capital of Zimbabwe. Goodbye Colombia, thank you for the journey. This is Zimbabwe, this is Zambia, and this hill over here is Mozambique. Wow, <laughs> this is really out there. We've been dropped off on the boat now. This tiny little settlement here. Such an awesome experience. But now we're really out there on these dirt roads. Hopefully find our way back to the uh, back to the main road. Just riding right through the centre here. Met a couple of really friendly guys selling the stuff in the in the streets. It's kind of cool. This is like the local fruit market. Fruit and veg. Tire. It's like a whole chunk missing. They don't care. There's only half the wheel nuts on the wheels as well. In fact, there's three wheel nuts on this wheel. There's just three wheel nuts. One, two, three. <laughs> wow. So at the moment here in Zimbabwe there's a bit of a crisis, financial crisis with the currency and money, um, the local bond fluctuates so much, uh, US dollars is used pretty much anywhere, uh, people with bank accounts struggle to get money here and the country stopped importing goods so it stopped importing food and there's lots of worries about fuel. I just want to share with you here the queue for the gas station. These two cars at the back there, this is the back of the queue and the queue goes all the way around the corner and you can't even see the gas station look all the way down the road there. These are all not parked cars, these are queuing for gas and if we go all the way down there the queue continues. And the gas station is right at the end of the street where you can see the cars turning in. There. Massive crisis here in Zimbabwe at the moment. So I've just sat in no man's land between Zimbabwe and uh, Mozambique. And just wanted to share with you what's happened today. So, um, 
my plan was to have a big day on the bike and get all the way to Malawi uh, but that means going from Zimbabwe to Mozambique and then Mozambique to Malawi with two border crossings um, the issue that I've got big issue is that at this border crossing um, between Zimbabwe and Mozambique there's no visa machine working so they can't issue a visa here now normally they would call ahead to the exit border tell them that I'm going through on transit I'll pay here and then they'll issue the visa at the exit border the problem is the main exit border over in the south there's two borders the one in the south to um, Malawi also has a broken visa machine so that I could go to the one in the north which is Dedza uh, but they've had no power for two days now and they don't know when it's coming back and as a result uh, after speak the officials have spoken to the head honchos and everything and uh, they've said that they uh, they can't let me go through so major bummer I have to turn around and drive 200 kilometers back to Harare and then and it's the weekend so the embassy's not open so I will uh, I will wait for Monday and then which is tomorrow and uh, get a visa and then drive all the way back and hopefully I'll be able to get through so I've been to the uh, embassy this morning here in Harare and uh, they can do me a visa today but it's 110 US dollars and I have to go and pay that at the bank so now I'm just walking through the street looking for the bank uh, to pay the $110 then I can go collect the visa this afternoon it's $110 for a transit visa to pass through in one day um, yeah it's the same price for a visa for 30 days it's just what I've got to do to get through otherwise it's a big long trip around and it will cost me just as much in other visas and stuff so let's go pay this and uh, get on our way so one of the biggest problems here in Zimbabwe at the moment at present is there's a huge cash crisis and what that means is it's really difficult to get cash so I have to pay $110 for my visa but I can't get cash from a cash machine most of them have been disabled and un no, people only deal in cash and you know I came here with a few hundred dollars in cash US dollars and to be frank I haven't got enough so what I've had to do is find some locals here to that have us dollars they've been willing to give me them and then i've made a transfer back in europe one of them had a european account to send them some money it's uh, the struggle is real i mean if you don't know these connections and people like it's so difficult to get through here so we've got the receipt with the stamp to say that we've paid the bank the money for the visa now let's go and get the visa so with all the uh, trouble I had with Mozambique I thought it'd be a good thing just to call in today at the Malawi embassy here in Harare in Zimbabwe just to check that I can actually get a visa on arrival and being in super lovely helpful and friendly people staff and they've confirmed that yes I can get a visa on arrival so there's no need to wait here to get a visa issued for Malawi just need to pick up my Mozambique visa this afternoon and we can get on the road all the way across to Malawi got my visa on my way to the border seven o'clock in the morning nice early start the plan today is get to Mozambique all the way through Mozambique and into Malawi and hopefully spend the night at Lake Malawi. Visa! Finally! What a chore going all the way back to the city. But it's done. Well, there we are again. Back at the border town. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, Mozambique. So now we have to go see the Mr. Policeman. I'll just go see the police. Okay. Hi. 
Hi guys, I'm back again. Ah, trying to go to Mozambique. But this time I have a visa, so. Yeah, I have to go all the way back to Harare. I remember you, yeah? So, this time I have everything. Um, to Malawi today. Straight to Mozambique. To Dedza. To Dedza. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Yeah. That's it. Goodbye to Zimbabwe. See you. Say goodbye to the Zimbabwe flag. And let's try and uh, enter Malawi. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But what a pain, you know, I've had to go all the way back. Hello. How are you doing, man? Nice to meet you. Oops, sorry. Again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Huh? Six nil. <laughs> See you. Yes. That oh, was a fast crossing. So this is where we are. This is Tet. And We've just crossed in here. I'm gonna cross over to Tet and then I'm gonna shoot up to Dedza here. And from Dedza I will ride across to Lake Malawi. It's Lake Malawi. Swinging round to go over the Zambezi now. What a view! Beautiful view. Beater chowing on a few diesel fumes in Africa. Well, everywhere to be honest. The more third world the place, usually the less emissions laws they have. I think we need to get Basil some go go juice. Hey, can I get some petrol? No petrol. No? Next one? 10 kilometers. It's gonna piss down. Next time on Races to Places, we're visiting Encarta Bay.
Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching Races to Places. Please check out the link to my Patreon page below where you can find special features and pre-released episodes of Races to Places. I look forward to your messages and comments on there.